Hi friends, it's Peggy from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm here with my little Yorkshire Terrier, Ellie. She's got a big bow on today and it keeps getting a little kooky. She had a bath this morning and she's a cl little clean bug. So uh, we've been spending some time together this morning happy happy friday how are all of you i think i forgot to say i'm an independent stampin up demonstrator and today i'm gonna we're gonna see a sneak peek of new spring catalog products spring 2023 can you even believe it i can't even believe it but i can believe that i have some of the products and oh boy are they darling and lots of fun stuff that you guys are gonna love so let me check here and make sure that I'm on live on my I'm checking my computer to make sure so let's just um, check okay it looks like we are live good I'm glad to see that because we've been having a little trouble with our internet. At least my phone hasn't been hooking up to the internet quite right. So that's been a little buggy. Anyway, happy Friday. Happy week before Thanksgiving week. Um, I bet maybe some of you are going to be traveling. I'm not going to be traveling. My son is coming, is coming out for a few days at the end of the week. So we'll spend Thanksgiving together. Um, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do my live lives on Thursday and Friday. Um, I know lots of us really are just laying around not doing too much. And so I think it's fun to still do lives because it's a time when, when nothing else is going on and I like to make cards anyway. So I plan to be here next week, live on my Wednesdays and Fridays. I don't know why Ellie's burying her head like this. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I don't have my glasses today. Tina, good to see you. Minda, good to see you. So I'm going to have to look up really, really close. I left my glasses in another part of the house. <laughs> I don't know what is with her today. She just wants to kind of snuggle, I guess. Um, okay, so the seasonal sale. You guys know that today is the last day of the seasonal sale. Um, Stampin' Up! to our knowledge is not having a black friday sale so this is like the black friday sale and it's good over 250 products are on sale from our annual catalog <clears throat> i'll turn this way so you can see her face <laughs> 250 products are on sale it's really a great sale and the biggest um the biggest way to save is on the dies that are 20 percent off so we're going to use some on-sale products today. Kay, good to see you from North Carolina. Two gals from North Carolina, good to see you. What's up today, Ellie? Yeah, she's just a funny girl today. Um, I just have so much to show you. So I'm going to go ahead and put her down. So you know that last weekend I went to um, Stampin' Up's On Stage, the yearly event for demonstrators, and we got to see... Um, the product and play with some of the products from the new spring mini catalog January it'll be January to April 2023 and those of us that went there got to order select products from what they call the product purchase premiere we call it the PPP and um, all demonstrators can pre start pre-ordering things on December 1st but those of us who went to on stage were able to order last weekend and I got my stuff. Lori, good to see you from New York. Um, so I got my stuff and I want to show it to you. Okay. I, you know, I couldn't, you know, we couldn't order everything. It was a select amount. So I'm going to go ahead and turn you down because I want to show you. I've been so excited. I've been playing with this stuff all morning. So this is the catalog. I'm not allowed to open it until January. I think it starts January 5th. Let me turn it over here and see. Yeah, January 5th. So I can't open it until January 5th, but I can show you stuff in it that I have gotten and played with. And here is the celebration catalog, which will run January 5th through the end of February. And you know what that means. We always have a lot of fun. Diane Emerson, good to see you. We always have a lot of fun with celebration because that means we get free stuff, right? Okay, so 
here is my here is my new product okay I'm gonna show you my very favorite suite first and I got the whole suite it's the favorite suite of what I could order okay it's called the delicate desert suite and here is the stamp set and here is the die set and for some reason I feel like my camera is a little crooked there let's go the other way if we can get it a little bit more straight there we go the stamp set and the die set let's look at the different dies and um, ribbon beautiful um, velvet ribbon I have the note here to remind me the name of it the delicate desert suite and this is faux velvet trim and the color is pale papaya I think it's beautiful I really like it teardrops sequins they're in the some are round and some are in the shape of teardrops and they're all gold and okay paper but I'm first going to show you I made a sample card for you guys Tina yes amazing dies Holly good to see you Carol Schaefer good to see you so because you couldn't I know I couldn't show you from the catalog I cased my favorite card from this set in the catalog I just made it a short time ago I got out the dies I got out the papers I got it all out you guys I love this what do I love about it well these are two the two um, rectangular dies and I think they are super neat I'm going to turn it a little bit like this so this one has a little point in a hole and then this the die cuts this out and look at that it has another little piece in there I'm not sure if you can see that let me see if I can can you see those two pieces I'm not sure and it goes around it has stitching also and some little interesting stuff here this is one of the pieces of designer series paper so is this so is this then this die is you know kind of coordinates and has a little V there then there's this die that is very neat this strip and this die here which I think looks like aloe vera there it, it is de it's all desert which is surprising because I usually don't like desert stuff but look at these dies so this is the big one and can you see all that that it embosses and cuts in there it's just amazing and then here's the one that goes inside of it here's the strip Marsha Long good to see you um, this is the strip that I cut that I really like this is what I think is the aloe vera it, it's a cactus a succulent but it looks like kind of an aloe vera plant these are the two flowers here is one that I went ahead and stamped in pale papaya um, this I think is my least favorite dye um, because I don't totally know what to do with it and then there's this one that really just embosses are those neat I just think they're so unusual and so when I put the card together I just pretty pretty much copied I totally cased it right out of the new catalog because I knew I couldn't open it for you guys the only thing I left out they had a little linen thread uh, bow right here but this is the ribbon and here are the gold sequins isn't that just neat the way that looks now let's look at the paper okay I've shown you everything else from the suite and I got the whole suite so let's check out the paper um, I've been pulling parts of it out to play with it um, and let me see what this is what it's called here um, delicate desert 12 by 12 designer series paper okay and like I said, I've pulled some pieces out. Let me see if I can get a little better lighting for you on that. It's soft succulent, pale papaya. I think this is either Calypso coral or a flirty flamingo. It's, I just love it. It's beautiful. I really like this color. This is Cajun Craze, which we mostly use um, we mostly use at you know in the fall but yet it's looking great in the spring and they've got some gray I like this one too already spotted 
A lot of soft succulent going on. I want to make sure to show you both sheets. Okay, and here's the other side of that one. Now, there is some specialty paper, and if you went to Onstage, you know we got this as, I think it was an all attendee giveaway. Look at this beautiful gold. They're, they're both, this one over here might not be gold. This might be, I mean, it kind of looks like gold, but it could also possibly be like rose gold. Isn't that gorgeous? It looks pretty dark on, on camera, but on my sample card, that's what I cut this strip out of here. And I cut this, what I'm calling the aloe vera plant out of the, the more soft succulent looking one. Maybe if I put it this way, you can see a little more. The lighting is a little weird. Isn't that just gorgeous? I know, gorgeous. I mean, of course, Stampin' Up! always has beautiful designer series paper, always. Okay, that was my favorite suite that I could order. Um, I showed these the other day. These are pastel adhesive back sequins. I won these on Prize Patrol. Um, there's a whole suite, flora, flora, fauna, fancy flora. And the only thing I got here is, at the moment, is the designer series paper because it's so beautiful. You guys, look at this. It is absolutely gorgeous. And we all love, look at that one. We all love six by six. Look at that. There's so much here. I just feel like there's tons of it. And it's beautiful. The colors are gorgeous. I didn't get the whole suite on this. I will eventually. I just, I think you could, but I didn't. I chose not to. But that, I think this front one is my favorite. Let's kind of check out the back a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful purples and some neutrals. I like that very pretty okay then I think I showed you I showed you this I got that we got that um, at on stage I got this the decorative borders but now this is a, here comes another one of my favorites that we were allowed to order <clears throat> some people weren't as in love with this as I was sweet citrus I just really like it. You can make it into oranges, tangerines, grapefruit, limes, lemons. Allison, good to see you. And so I went ahead and I thought I had a third little lemon here, but that must have fallen out somewhere. But look at how pretty that looks. I mean, they're very realistic looking. I know I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. And it's not a sweet, but it's a bundle and it comes with um, a hybrid embossing folder and what that means is you get two things you get an embossing folder and look at the citrus on that embossing folder and then you get dies and the dies fit inside the embossing folder so that you can so this die fits in here and you can cut and emboss at the same time isn't that neat? I love I love citrus, and these little flowers are very cute. I didn't even have a chance to stamp them. They have little dots on them. I like the sentiments, thanks a bunch. I'll probably use that a bunch. Um, yes, they're great sentiments. Enjoy the sweeter things in life. Have, have a zesty birthday, Diane, you're right. Sending you a big squeeze, isn't that cute? I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this citrus, the sweet citrus set. There is so much in there, and on December 1st, we can order more. So far, um, so I think I, sho I showed you this from that we got when we were there. This is a celebration set with a $100 order. You can get this, but we got it free at OnStage. But then the one thing I did order that I chose uh, with my product purchase premiere was this beautiful paper. It is dainty flowers, you guys. It is really, really pretty. Let me take it out here so that I can show you more. Okay, love, pink, love, love, love. Yes, 
I agree with you, Allison. Love all the papers. Look at how pretty these are. They're just gorgeous. Perfect for spring. Look at this one. I don't know if you can see the dots on there. Splatter. Look at this. And so this is celebration paper. I am not sure if it's a hundred dollar spend or a fifty, but it's beautiful. And there's one of the ones that we can cut down the center and use the the you know, use one sixth of it just for a card background. This is gorgeous. So that's what I got. Isn't that so neat? I just love everything. I I had to really force myself to make a card for today because I was having so much fun with all my new stuff. But we are going to make a card today and we're going to make a card out of, um, thank you, Marsha, on sale product because we're today is such an amazing sale, last day of the amazing sale. Um, so this is the card we're going to make. And the reason is everything on it is on sale, almost everything. And we have birthdays, even during the holidays. You all know that. Some of you probably have birthdays during the holidays. And, you know, I think a birthday person doesn't really necessarily want to get a Thanksgiving birthday card or a Christmas birthday card. I think they'd like to get their own special for them birthday card. So I thought this was a good one, a good use of the paper, and it looks a little bit wintry and fallish because of this mossy meadow, meadow paper. So let me show you. This is, uh-oh, little bulletin board just fell down. This is the A Wash in Beauty Designer Series paper, and it's on sale right now for 10% off. It's um, $9.60. And that's one reason I wanted to use, Ellie's trying to find out what fell down. It's so beautiful, you guys. It's been one of my favorites in the annual catalog. And all of this, the one good thing about everything that's on sale is it's not retiring. It's available for six more months until, well, it could be the end of April. I'm kind of forgetting. But I think it might be, anyway, for quite a few months. And it's beautiful, it's beautiful in the spring. And it's on sale now, 250 products currently on sale. They're all, um, all dies in the annual catalog, 20% off. And so these are the sheets of paper that I used here. So let's get started with our card. So we're gonna, it's a simple card, easy and quick to make for those birthdays that you need. Um, and I'm already thinking about January and usually in January, I do <clears throat> what I call a birthday stock up card, where we make lots of birthday cards. I do both a live and an online version of that because um, we need to stock up on birthday cards in January. I'm thinking my paper isn't quite trimmed correctly. Let me get out my trimmer and check it out. Every so often, I don't trim my paper exactly right, and I, it needs to be right because we're going to put some designer series paper on top of it. So let me, okay, that is right. So I guess it is right. It just didn't look right when I was, um, when I was folding it. It looked a little off, but okay, we'll go with it. I like it to be even. I don't know about you guys. I like it to come out right. Okay, so this is our first piece, this beautiful piece of Mossy Meadow uh, Designer Series paper from the Awash and Beauty set. And I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this right on. And the other side is gorgeous too. We could use the other side, but I wanted it to look a little bit kind of, you know, kind of, a, if I could, a little bit, seasonal and I thought this looked a little more seasonal with an with the nice deep green and remember go ahead and put the word prize if you want to be entered to win next week's prize I've already drawn the name for this week's prize and I'll announce it at the end then I'm going to put on this really pretty uh, pink kind of a plaid I really like it and there's the other side of that piece it's all gorgeous, all gorgeous. 
and we're just going to put that right down there. So in case you're wanting to know about um, measurements, the card is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. The first piece of the green designer series paper is four by five and a quarter. This smaller piece of pink is four by two and a, two and a quarter. And that's our card base right there. Uh-oh, I forgot that I was gonna stamp the sentiment right on this little piece of the pink paper. Well, let's do it. And we're taking a big chance, aren't we? Is it gonna come out right? I was gonna stamp before I put it on there. Uh oh Okay, well, I think it's gonna be easy to stamp. I'm gonna use Mossy Meadow ink so it all coordinates. Sorry, that was why it was crooked. My, my, my stand was a little bit crooked. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp right on this designer series paper and we're gonna hope it comes out right. The one thing that's good is that we have a photopolymer or clear stamp and we have lined designer series paper. So theoretically, it should come out correctly. And it did with my sample card that I made earlier. So let's give it a try, okay? Let me see here. I'm going to try it right about in here. It did. It came out very well, and that's because it's easy with the clear stamp, which we call photopolymer, and the lined paper. Always a benefit to stamp on lined paper, right? Okay, now we're ready to go on. So now we're going to, what we're going to use here is the color and contour stamp set. You know, I've been talking to you about my favorite dies, and this is one of them. We're not gonna use this today, but this is the die set that goes along with this stamp set, which is also on sale. And this is one of my must-have die sets, scallop contour dies. They're on sale marked down from $35 to $28, 20% off. Today is the last day till midnight mountain time. Hey, Brian, thanks. <laughs> Ooh, I'm glad I didn't know you were watching. It would have scared me. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to show you the pretty stamp set that goes along with my favorite die set and or my most, my must, one of my must-haves. We're also going to use the scallop circle dies, which are another must-have. I mean, this to me is the number one must-have die set, seriously. It, well, it's called layering circles, sorry. The same pricing as the scallop contour dies. So let's go ahead. We're going to stamp from using this color and contour stamp set. We're going to stamp on a little piece of basic white, and we're going to stamp this flower. I love this flower. It's a little bit abstract. I like it very much. I love this whole stamp set. I really do. Using the Mossy Meadow ink, and we're just going to stamp right in here. We're later going to cut this with a circle die. But there we go. Okay. Now, the one thing that I really like about this set is it's kind of like a watercolor set. In other words, it gives you a watercolor look without you having to watercolor. So I'm using here polished pink ink, of course, because it's my favorite color, number one, and number two, because it goes with the designer series paper. And this is the stamp I'm going to use. This is meant to go in in this stamp. It fits, it coordinates with it, but it doesn't fit perfectly because it's supposed to give a bit of an abstract watercolor look. And that's what I really like about it. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to line up that little bud right there. Because can you see the bud here on the... Um, on the stamp and it just helps you to line everything up and again it's not going to be perfect it's just going to be lined up and that's the way it's supposed to look very abstract very abstract and I really like it so now what we're going to do because I wanted to use the layering circle dies is I'm going to get out my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine and we're going to cut this stemmed flower, but we're going to cut it with 
this scallop circle die right here. And I think I have the paper the right size, so we're going to cut it just like that and run that through. And there is a die that fits this perfectly, but I decided I wanted to focus on the layering circle dies and show you how cool they are. I mean, most of you know that already, but it's, it's good to see exactly, really see the, the features of the, of the dies. So here's what we're gonna do. I've gone ahead and done a, few, a little bit more pre-cutting Here's our flower, and then here is another one of the circle dies I went ahead and cut in basic white. And then I use the largest scallop circle, and I'm not sure if you can totally see that. It's a piece of vellum. And this is why it's called the layering circle dies, and they look so fabulous, all stacked up like that on dimensional. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm just gonna put, I usually put three dimensionals on circles. Um, I think I think it makes this, in case anyone pushes on it, it balances it out really well. So it doesn't tip over or anything. So let's put this one on right in the center there. And then we'll do the same thing with this one and adhere it with three dimensionals to the, to the vellum circle. And it just makes your cards, I think, look super professional. I really do when you put these layering circles on there. And the one thing about them, they're not seasonal. They don't go with any particular, the circles don't go with any particular set. They're for every day. That's why I call them my must-haves. And look at how pretty that looks, just like that. It, it focuses, the circle focuses on the beautiful flower which is what it's supposed to do. It brings it out, it shows how pretty it is. It looks like you watercolored the flowers yourself. People will say, wow, look at that. She watercolored that card. And nobody's gonna know that it was a, just a very cool stamp by Stampin' Up. So here we go. I'm gonna put it a little bit off to the left, just like that. And now what I'm gonna do is tie a little linen thread bow just to tuck in there. You don't have to do this. I like I like ribbon and bows. I always like ribbon and bows on my cards. And the nice thing about linen thread or baker's twine is that it doesn't make your card fat. It makes it, you know, it stays very mailable so you don't have to pay extra as if you put a big fat ribbon, which sometimes I do because I like I like big poofy bows. Thank you, Marsha. Thank you, Holly. So here's a little trick. We're gonna tuck this linen thread bow right up under there, and I have my mini glue dots, and I'm just going to fold this back so I can reach one little glue dot, just like that. I'm gonna tuck the glue dot right up under here and then I'm gonna put my the knot of the bow, and you could use white baker's twine, would also be nice, you know, it would give it give a, a more coordinated look, kind of. This is a little bit more of a rustic or a little shabby chic, which is kind of my style. And that little knot is sticking right on top of that glue dot, so it's not gonna go anywhere. Simple, quick card. Now we're also going to stamp a little bit on the envelope and on the inside of the card because that makes a finished card. So I'm gonna bring back out this beautiful stem. I just think it's so pretty. And I love it in the Mossy Meadow ink because it just, I think it's striking. Isn't that just striking? The artist, I think, did a beautiful job on that. And let's get out our envelope. Oh, I went ahead and pre-stamped it, I guess, when I was stamping the other envelope, so we don't need to stamp that. So there's your card. Whoops, little, I got a little boo-boo there. Okay, no wonder I stamped two envelopes. There we go. And guess what? This is the prize for today, for next week. I will, next Friday, I will award this card. I will send this card to the winner of the prize for next week. I know you guys 
Thank you, Lori. Um, I know you guys like to get my cards, and so this is going to be the prize for next week. I might add another card or two, because one card isn't really enough. So I'll add a couple more cards for your prize for next week. So I'm going to come right up here. And now it's dark outside. Can you see? Yeah, it's getting dark so early. So our prize from last week um, is this fun stamp set, Driving By. I had extras from Celebration. I know the glare is on it. And the winner of the prize from last, well, it was actually two weeks ago because I wasn't here last week because I was at on stage. So the winner from two weeks ago, it was on November 4th, is Cindy Reed. Cindy, congratulations. I thought I might have seen you on the, this call. Um, or this Facebook Live. I'm pretty sure I have your address, but you know what? I love for you to email me, Peggy at prettypapercards.com. Send me your address again so that I'm sure I send it to the right place in case you've moved or in case I've lost it. Um, Cindy, just email me and let me know the current shipping address that you want. Um, Marsha, yes, you guys would love the card. I thought so. I thought so. So I will. this will be the prize for next week. And I'll add a couple of other cards to it so you'll get a little pack of my cards. Do not forget the last day today of the seasonal sale. You guys, it's a great sale. 20% off dies, embossing folders, and select designer series paper. So most of what we use today, the stamp set, the circle dies, and the designer series paper all on sale. And this is the last day. Take advantage of it because there, I don't think there's going to be a Black Friday sale from Stampin' Up. You know, we never know. For all we know, they could show up with a flash sale. If I said there's not going to be one, there could, you know, we never know. But we are assured of today's sale. And 20% off is a good amount, especially on these dies. So if there's anything in the annual catalog that you've been wanting, snag it today. And I've got my link to my store up above. For my Facebook people, down below for my YouTube people, and for my YouTube people, um, if, or anybody, if you're watching this, today is the 18th of November, so after 2022. So after today, the sale will um, not be on, but I, I'm hoping that some of you are watching on the day of the sale and you can take advantage of that for yourselves. Have a fabulous weekend, great weekend, get some stamping done, and I will see you next week. I will be on Wednesday and Friday, my normal dates. Okay.